Well, good morning and welcome again to another podcast, Down to Earth, but Heavenly Minded. I'm your host, Irv Rich. Today we're going to be talking about a kid's game. Uh, in fact, I think everybody probably has played this game uh, at one time or another. It's called Hide and Seek. <laughs> oh, I can remember growing up and uh, we didn't have a lot, but... Uh, we made our own fun, and one of them was playing hide-and-seek. But we played it big time. We did it outside. And, uh, oh, we would get together, all the kids in the neighborhood. And back then, the neighborhood, you knew everybody, and uh, everybody got along. And uh, what we would do is, uh, on a hot summer night, uh, all our parents would sit on the porch and as kids, we basically there was no traffic on the street that we were on, so we would play right in the middle of the street. We would play kick the can and uh, hide and seek and other games. Uh, we used to play stickball. Uh, growing up in a bigger city, yeah, uh, it wasn't a dangerous place. In fact, it was uh, quite pleasant. And uh, so I could remember playing hide and seek. Now, this game goes back to the beginning of time. Let me stop sharing here for a minute and close this down, move this down. Okay. I took a picture the other day of my new edition. Uh, it's actually an old edition now, but it was a new edition we added on our house. And my wife keeps her plants and everything in it, and that's kind of what you're looking at in the background here. Well, anyway, uh, there was an article that was written uh, by D.L. Modi, and uh, it was entitled, Where Art Thou? And it's on the same principle. Uh, and like I say, this game goes back to the beginning of time. I've got my Bible over here. Let me just grab it. Okay, I'm in Genesis chapter 2, and uh, this is right after the first man and woman, Adam and Eve, fell. They ate the forbidden fruit, and right away it says, and their eyes were both uh, were wide open, and they knew that they were naked. Before that, they didn't know that. They were in this in the age of innocence, stage of innocence. And uh, so what did they do? They knew that they were naked, so they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves uh, loincloths, their aprons and some translations, but it was a covering. Now, God was in the habit of having fellowship with man before the fall. So God came down, wonderful thing. He came down to have fellowship. And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden uh, in the cool of the day. And the man and the woman hid themselves. You know, they hid themselves from God, hide and seek. And they hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. You know, the Lord knew what had happened. He knew where they were. But the Lord God called to the, uh, the man and said to him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard the sound of you in the garden. And I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. And he said, who told you you were naked? Have you eaten of the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, the woman whom you gave me to me, uh, she gave me fruit of the tree and I ate. You see, God wasn't just blaming the woman, or I mean, Adam just wasn't blaming the woman. 
he was blaming God because God had given him the woman and she made a maid. It wasn't his fault. <laughs> Don't we always pass the blame when we do something wrong? And now all I could read on, but the woman blamed the serpent. And down the line, so God cursed the ground, and a man had a toil after that, but a sweat of his brow, and he ate bread. And the woman was given over to pain and childbirth, and the serpent was cursed. And God took care of the serpent at the uh, cross of Calvary. Now, I'm going to share my screen here for a minute. I just want to show you this article that I got. Let me just click on this and share the article. There it is. You can see it. I got to wait till that little thing gets out of the way here. It says, the first thing that happened after the news reached heaven of the fall of man was that God came straight down to seek out uh, the lost one, hide and seek. Man was hiding, God was seeking. As he walked through the garden in the cool of the day, you can hear him calling, Adam, Adam, where art thou? It was the voice of grace and mercy and of love. Adam ought to have taken the seeker's place where he was the transgressor. He had fallen and he ought to have gone up and down in Eden crying, my God, my God, where art thou? But God left heaven to seek those, uh, the dark uh, world for the rebel who had fallen not to hurt him, but to a face, but the face of the earth. Uh, I'm sorry, not to hurl him from the face of the earth, uh, but to plan him an escape from the misery of his sin. And he finds him where, where hiding from the creator among the bushes of the garden. Okay, we don't need to uh, read any more of that. The point is God is merciful, kind, and loving. And he's the one who's seeking man. You know, we have a hymn in our hymnals where it says, I sought the Lord and afterwards I knew. It was not me seeking him, but him seeking me. And this is true. God is seeking everyone. And that's why you find all these messages on the internet and uh, in churches and wherever you go. People are trying to tell you the good news. And the good news is the Gospels, that Jesus Christ, the Lord Almighty, became flesh and blood and went to the cross of Calvary. For it says that we beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten, full of grace and truth. You want to understand who God is? Look at the Lord Jesus Christ. He was the expressed image of the invisible God. He made him visible so we could understand that God is love. And you know, there's so many words for love. But the best one is agape love. That's the Greek. It's uh, God's love for us. Unselfish. It, he does it not because we deserve it. Uh, that's mercy. Oh, God shows his mercy on us. If he gave us what we deserve, we'd all be in hell. And every one of us deserve it because we all have sinned and falls short of the glory of God. So I just wanted to share that with you this morning. So uh, just next time you think of the kids playing hide and seek, just think how we 
hide from God, but God seeks us. Quit hiding. God wants you in his kingdom, and he's seeking you out, and he wants to save you from your sins. And he, he already took care of the problem. All he asks you to do is just believe it. Without faith, we cannot please God. Well, with that said, I'm going to just end this recording and my podcast. Bye for now. Have a great day. Till next time. Lord bless.